Okay, and in this lesson we're going to talk about three note per string pentatonic scales for seventh string. So let me start with just three note per string pentatonic scales by themselves, and then we'll figure out how we got down to the uh, to the low B string. So the way you think of three note per string pentatonic scales, you take two pentatonic scale patterns. In this case, I'll just stick with the key C major. Pattern one pentatonic and pattern two pentatonic. And you basically just mush them together. So you end up with a pattern that goes like this. One, two, four, wide stretch. One, three, four, one, three, four, wide stretch, wide stretch. Now to make that a seven string pattern, you just take whatever the B string is doing. In this case, it's one, two, four. We move it right on down, and we have one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four. And before you even say anything, I know it's a wide stretch. I know it's a crazy stretch on your hand. I have small fingers. Trust me, I know that it's a big stretch. All right, next two patterns will be pattern two and three. So you take pattern two pentatonic, pattern three pentatonic. You kind of mush them together. You get a shape that goes one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, one, three, four, one, three, four. And then essentially you just take the B string, which was a one, three, four, you move it down. Next up, we're going to have patterns number three and four. So pattern three, pattern four, and then you motion together. You end up with a shape that looks like this. Might help I talk through that. So wide stretch, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch. Then we're going to take what the B string is doing. In this case, that's a one, two, four, and you just move it down to the low B. Next two patterns are four to five, so pattern four, pattern five. You mush them together, you get a pattern that goes one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, shift one, three, shift one, three, one, two. Okay, now I think what the B string was doing, in this case, that's actually a wide stretch. I'm sorry, no, it wasn't, it was a one, three, four. And you move it down, you get one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four. I should think before I speak. Here's that pattern again. Kind of getting through the part of the neck where it's not quite such a big deal to do the stretch now. Okay, next up is pattern five to one. This is the last new pattern. So pattern five, pattern one. You wedge them together, you have one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, one, three, four. Now, when you take whatever's on the B string, in this case it's a wide stretch, you go wide stretch, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, one, three, four. Okay, and then we're back to our octave above. I'm gonna go straight to the seven string patterns for these guys. So one to two is one, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, one, three, four, one, three, four, wide stretch, one, two, four. Let's say wide stretch, one, two, four, one, two, four. Four, three, four, three, wide stretch, four, two, one, four, two, one. And then next up, the last one I'll do is pattern number two, which is uh, one, three, four, one, three, four. One, two, four, one, two, four, wide stretch, one, three, four, one, three, four. Like that. So these guys can be a bit of a challenge when it comes to uh, you know getting the spacing and getting the, the, the stretch happening, um, but it's definitely worth doing. Now, as far as developing technique with these, this is very much just the same idea as we've talked about with uh, with any other scale. You're going to incorporate sequencing ideas in the metronome. Um, sequences that feel really good for the three-note string pentatonic, we run through a couple of those. I'll use uh, pattern two in the key of B. Um, so the 16th note triple sequences are actually really, really good for these guys. That's going to be this the one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six pattern. We just plug it into each string. Uh, and then descending, you're gonna go. So all together, you got. You also have a variation on that called the Paul Gilbert variation, which the ascending. That part's the same, and then descending. Um, other ones that work well are like string skipping. Uh, 
uh, strings given sequence. Uh, fives and sevens work well, so five. Back down sevens. Those guys all work really, really, really well with the three-note string kind of tonic idea. So it's just about getting to know them. You know what I mean? That's the key to the whole thing. So uh, three-note string pentatonics. One of the things that I think is worth your time to learn these shapes is because they're very different sound. Even though we're still talking about the good old, you know, pentatonic. You know, I speak when I play it this way. It doesn't really sound pentatonic, and that's what's kind of cool. I almost call it the the faux advanced scale. It kind of feels like it's some kind of crazy, you know, something with a sharp five or an augmented idea or something like that, or some kind of wacky, kooky, suspended arpeggio or something, but it's really just the good old pentatonic scale, which to me is kind of a cool thing about it. It's really great, and it really works great on the seven strings. So try and incorporate those into your playing, and I'll see you in the next lesson.